there's no shake up. I mean, look at the words that you use and you blast at the bottom in your banner. Shake up, overhaul, dramatic, desperate measures. There are no desperate measures. You just literally read the memo that you received that Paul Manafort sent out stating he's not going anywhere. The campaign is on its way to victory. And yet you still use these ridiculous words in order to incite something. I mean, the, please understand that nobody's buying into this anymore. It started out, I don't know if you think it was funny, but these terms are not indicative of what's going on at the campaign. All that Mr. Trump has done is he has added to the existing group of winners that he has hired for the campaign, which is still hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of people less than the number of people that it, the Clinton campaign. So if Hillary Clinton brought somebody in, are you going to use the terms overhaul, yes, desperate no, measures? No. Yes, no, You haven't we done would. it once? If, okay, because okay, not, wait, one Michael, Michael, nine, not one person of the nine, not one person of the 900 people that work for her campaign pain. Not one has left. Not one has been promoted or demoted. No, at the top, actually, we have not seen that. And I will tell you, Michael, that if that happened, we would cover it like that. Uh, and, and you would right never now, hear about it. I, I mean, I disagree with you. I okay. and personally, I cover the Clinton campaign. I would be all over that. That would be a huge story. All of the banners that you see right here would be up on the television as well. All right, so if there's any one person that's watching this show today that used to be with the Clinton campaign, please call in. All right, well, let me ask you about this. So you say, you say it's not a shakeup, but you guys are down. And it makes Says sense who? that there would... Says polls, who? Most of them. All of them? Says who? Polls. I just told you, I answered your question. Okay. Which polls? All of them. Okay. And your okay. question is? Okay. So my question is, I don't think it is really surprising when facing a challenge and trying to make a turnaround that there would be some, let's, let's at least say some adjustments, okay? So I guess what my real question is here that I did not get to get to is, what is the point of this? If you're calling it an expansion of, of winners, as you put it, working on the campaign, what is it about? What, to, what, to what end? Well, I think bringing on somebody like Kellyanne Conway was a great move, and it was something, personally, I would have liked to have seen happen earlier, but the campaign wasn't ready for it. Uh, now they are. I think she's a brilliant individual. I think that, you know, um, she understands the data that's coming in. Look, Hillary Clinton's got 14, I think, or 13 different pollsters that are working on creating her message. So when she talks about usage of a teleprompter by Donald Trump, she would have no clue without her script writers and her teleprompter. It's used in order to keep you on message, very much like you guys do on the morning when you're on television. You use teleprompters because it keeps you on your message. But these are Donald Trump's.